She's one of the world's most famous faces. Nevertheless, despite her amazing attractiveness and her status as a self-made billionaire, 27-year-old Kylie Jenner is no stranger to criticism about her appearance. Photos from this year's Met Gala have surfaced, showing Kylie, who is currently dating Timothy Chalamet, a Hollywood actor, to have significantly thinner arms and a little scar under her armpit. Online forums have been used by social media users to accuse her of being so skinny by multiple rounds of lipo suction on her arms and back. Some speculated that she may have had an implant scar from a prior breast augmentation. Experts in cosmetics have now also expressed their opinion, asserting that the makeup mogul has undergone liposuction. Dr. Usman Qureshi, an esthetician based in Glasgow, further contended that she might have had a similar surgery called body tight, which uses radio frequency energy to tighten the skin and assist melt fat. Have you seen Kylie Jenner's arms? He asked his 12,000 Instagram followers. She says it's just from doing Pilates. Pilates by itself, in my opinion, is not able to accomplish this. I believe she most likely underwent bodytite, liposuction, or a related procedure. Private liposuction surgery in the UK might run you anywhere from 2,000 pounds to 6,000 pounds. The procedure, which typically takes a few hours, is occasionally provided by the NHS to treat medical problems such lipoedema and lymphedema. It entails sucking out little patches of fat with a tube inserted beneath the skin in order to remove undesirable body fat. The regions treated noticeably shrink after the operation's bruising and swelling have subsided. It may take weeks to recover. In contrast, body tight is a minimally invasive technique that is becoming more and more popular as a substitute for conventional liposuction. Also known as laser lipo, the procedure involves making a tiny incision in the desired location and inserting a unique handheld device under the skin. According to reports, the device releases radio frequency energy that liquefies fat cells and tightens the tissues around them while drawing out the liquefied fat. Dr. Andrew Pareto, a specialist in facial aesthetics, conjectured last year that Kylie might have undergone buckle fat reduction in her cheeks and liposuction on her jaw. This is difficult to say because she changed from being young and carrying some baby weight on her face to looking like a woman. The man remarked, to assist lower them a little, she may have performed a small amount of buckle fat reduction in the cheeks. It's difficult to tell, but it's possible that she underwent liposuction to add some shape to her jaw. Additionally, he suggested that her nose appeared a lot thinner, which might be the product of either surgery or makeup contouring, and that her chin was now pointier, possibly as a result of surgery. Fans have, nevertheless, questioned her drastic shift in appearance before. Following her attendance at Paris Fashion Week in January, the makeup mogul's reinvention caused social media to erupt, with many accusing her of appearing like she was in her 40s. What did Kylie Jenner do to her face, someone maliciously questioned. She may only be 26 years old, but she sure seems that way in this photo. Another added, We're seeing in real time what long-term filler usage does as you age, in a comment that was watched 25 million times. Surgeons have previously stated that using filler at a young age entails several hazards, including the possibility of stretched skin that sags earlier than normal, despite its widespread use. However, Kylie has adamantly denied ever having facial filler. She said she had never touched my face in a Wall Street Journal interview from the previous year. However, Kylie, who was 17 at the time, did confess to receiving injections to thicken her lips in 2015, following months of frenzied online rumors. She said that her tiny lips were an insecurity of mine. In addition to getting lip fillers, Kylie has acknowledged having breast augmentation surgery when she was a teenager and has come forward to express how much she regrets it. She stated in 2023, I just wish I had never gotten them done in the first place. I would advise anyone considering it to put it off until after having kids.